Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Meet the Asanas. Today we're going to do a standing posture and one that is pretty standard, you'll find it in any yoga practice, downward facing dog or in Sanskrit, Adho Mukha Svasana. So this is a standard for a good reason. So this is a strengthening pose, also an active resting pose. It can be considered restorative. And it's also an inversion, which might be surprising to you, but all an inversion means is that your heart is above your head. So you don't have to do headstand or handstand to get the benefits in inversion. You can actually just get it in this posture. So this has so many benefits, so let's make sure we're doing it right and that it feels right within our bodies. So let's set it up. The easiest way to come into down dog is from hands and knees, so that's what I recommend. Now, it's always important to start with your foundation, what is actually touching the ground. So our hands, we want to place them the width of our shoulders. And we want to make a nice wide base so that the weight can be evenly distributed. So we want to spread the fingers wide. And think about pressing into the whole hand. So to do that, it's easy to focus your intention on the first finger and the thumb. Doing this will really press the entire hand into the floor, which will help to take tension off the wrists. So coming into all fours, hands planted underneath the shoulders, knees are going to be the, the width of your hips. And already we can start to tone the belly. That just means engage your abdomen. So doing this helps to protect the lower back. Now we can tuck the toes and Lift up, straightening. We won't straighten all the way yet. Let's keep our legs bent so we can set up our posture. So keeping the knees bent helps us to imagine pulling the tailbone up. This is gonna elongate the spine. So keep a generous bend to the knees right now and pushing up through the floor. Now, we don't want to, we want to keep a long neck here. So rolling the shoulders away from the neck and rolling the upper outer arms in. So this will help us keep a wide shoulder area, chest area, sorry. So, we want to push evenly between the hands and the feet. So to engage the legs a little bit more, think about pulling up from your kneecap. This will engage the thighs and engage the legs more so that you're not dumping too much of your weight into your arms. If you tend to hyperextend in your arms a little bit like I do, keep a very, very tiny bend. So this will help not put too much strain on your elbow joints. So we're gonna, we're keeping our abdomen engaged, pushing up through the hands, chest and shoulders open, and just relaxing the head. So using the weight of the head just to kind of elongate the spine and release tension. Now, if you have open hamstrings, you can bring the heels down to the floor. That's what the full expression of the posture is. But if you have tight hamstrings, keep your heels lifted or you can keep your knees bent. So the full expression of the posture is knees straight, heels to the floor. But if that is too much for your hamstrings, again, just keep your heels up and your knees bent. So 
The full expression of the posture should look pretty much like an inverted V. So with each exhale, we're letting the weight of the head elongate the spine, releasing any tension from the vertebra. And you can stay here for as long as you like. I recommend five breaths or something like that. And on an exhale, you can come down to the knees and come to seated. And that's down dog. So this is really great for strengthening the wrists and the arms and the shoulders. And also, as you probably felt, stretching the hamstrings, opening the backs of the legs. And again, if it's ever too much for you, then back off and go back to where you started from. Just back off a little bit. So with any posture in yoga, a little bit of discomfort is okay. Sharp shooting pains are not. That is what can lead you to injury. So doesn't matter what it looks like, it matters what it feels like. We want to feel um, engaging through the arms and the shoulders, stretching, not pulling in the backs of the legs, and a nice elongation and release of tension in the spine. So that is Downward Facing Dog. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, you can find me on Instagram. I am Zen Nutrition on Instagram. I'd love to hear um, how this feels for you. So join me next time as we explore another asana. I'll meet you on the mat. Bye.